we're now going to look at multiplying and dividing decimals. Now you may think decimals are hard enough as it is, why would we want to multiply and divide them? But using this method you might find that it's not quite as hard as you were fearing. What would happen if we had a question like 0 0.4 times by 0 0.5? Now the way you may have learnt it if you have learnt it, it's the times the 4 by the 5 and you get 20 so it becomes 0 0.20 and that is indeed the correct answer but that only works for smaller decimals that trick of just remembering times the two numbers together and you'll get the answer that only works when you have like 0 point and then a number when the question gets harder for example 0 0.004 or something then you might want to try this method. What you do is you convert both of the decimals into a fraction. So 0 0.4, if you convert it as something over 10 or something over 100 or 1000, that is the easiest way of doing it. 0 0.4 is just 4 over 10. It's one number after the decimal place, so it's going to be something over 10. 0 0.5 is one number after the decimal place, so it's going to be something over 10. 5 over 10. Now we have something a lot nicer, 4 over 10 times by 5 over 10, and using our multiplying fractions knowledge, you just times the top and times the bottom. So 4 times by 5 is 20, 10 times by 10 is 100, so we have 20 over 100 as our answer. And that can be a, a lot easier way of multiplying decimals. Let's show an example where the previous method might not have been so good. Say we had something like 0 0.05 multiplied by 0 0.01. Now using your method you might think, okay, well that's going to be 0 0.05 because you just do the 5 times the 1 and bring the 0 in. Or you might even think it's 0 0.005 because there's a 0 here and there's a 0 here, therefore there's going to be two zeros in the answer. But it's not so simple as that and both of those answers are incorrect. What I would do is I'd convert them into fractions. So 0 0.05 is exactly the same thing because there's two numbers after the decimal place. It's going to be something over 100 and indeed 5 over 100. Now 0 0.01 has two numbers after the decimal place so it's going to be something over 100 1 over 100. That looks a lot nicer. 5 over 100 times 1 over 100. 5 times 1 is 5. 100 times 100 is 10,000. There's two zeros in 100, two zeros in 100, so overall there's going to be four zeros if you multiply them, 10,000. And there's your answer, 5 divided by 10,000. And that actually, if you had it as a decimal, would be the, the decimal place would start here with a 5.0 is 5 and if you were dividing it by 10,000 you don't need to do this the answer is 5 divided by 10,000 we're happy we're done we've moved on to the next question but if you did want to put it as a decimal if they ask you to put it as a decimal you simply have 5 to begin with the decimal place moves by 1 for dividing by 10 it moves by another 1 to dividing by 100 moves by another one to divide by a thousand and moves by another one to divide by ten thousand so it'd be 0 0.0005 simpler though I think just to keep it as a fraction I think you'll even more agree that the method of changing it into a fraction is a good one when you think about dividing decimals if we had something like 0 0.12 divided by um, 0 0.12 divided by 0 0.7 let's say how on earth are we going to do that? well if we convert them into fractions that might be a good place to start 0 0.12 has two numbers after the decimal place so it's going to be something over 100 it's going to be 12 over 100 and 0 0.7 has one number after the decimal place so it's going to be over 10, 7 over 10. 
If you're not sure how to divide fractions, I have done another video on this, but it's called Keep Change Flip. Keep Change Flip, which I did not invent, though, which is a very good way of doing it. You keep the 12 over, over 100 the same. So 12 over 100 stays the same, that's the keep. You change the divide into a times, and you flip the other fraction, so it becomes 10 over 7. Now, multiplying fractions, as we did before, 12 times 10 is 120. 7 times 100 is 700. And there we go. We can actually just quickly simplify that by knocking off two of the zeros. So, knock the zero off here, knock the zero off here, and we get 12 over 70. And I think you'd agree that's a nice and straightforward way of dealing with some very tricky looking question of dividing decimals.